glasses to build credibility. Today we are going to learn some crucial tips on how to define your personal style. A trusty notebook. If you look good from head to toe, then you will feel good from head to toe. Clothing gives people a taste of your personality before you even open your mouth. And if you're a man, don't click away because these tips can help you too. Why should I care about personal style, especially right now when, <clears throat> you know, we can't even go outside and show our perfectly curated outfit. But you are worth it. You are worth dressing for. You are worth impressing yourself. So listen to these tips. Mm. Okay. If you know and refine your personal style, then you will buy less. And that is good for you. It's good for your wallet good for the environment. You won't go to a store and spend hours scouring through clothing racks trying to find a piece that's just okay, that's mediocre, and doesn't work for you in the long term. That five dollar shirt from Forever 21 or Walmart or wherever is hurting somebody down the supply chain. And a lot of people ask, why is ethical and sustainable clothing so expensive? But I think they should be asking, why is the majority of clothing so cheap? So when you refine your personal style, you know exactly what you want, exactly what to look for, and you will consume less, which is what we are about on this channel, sustainability buying less, choosing well, and decreasing your impact. My name is Karina, and my style has come a long way. A long way. My first tip when it comes to personal style actually has nothing to do with clothing, but your hairstyle. For me, it's a focal point. Hairstyle and hair is the first thing I usually notice about someone. It's around your face, and different hairstyles give different vibes. The sexy librarian, the thrifter, the girl who thinks she's too good for you. I have had every haircut and hairstyle under the sun. But I am now pretty satisfied with the cut and length that I currently have. But it takes time to figure out what your ideal hair style or hair look is. And this applies to both men, women, and everyone else. Different hairstyles give different vibes. My next tip is to assess your closet. Odds are you already have lots of clothes in your closet that you wear more often than other pieces. Clothes that you gravitate towards, clothes that work for you. It's always best to use what you have, to love what you have, and shop your own closet. My trick for figuring out which pieces you get the most out of is the hanger trick. So you want to basically turn everything in your closet backwards so that hangers are facing you. If you do this for a period of time, let's say on January 1st, you turn everything in your closet over, by December 31st of that same year, you will realize how many things you never reached for and if there is something in your closet that you haven't reached for in over 365 days, then you should probably get rid of it responsibly. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on that on my channel as well. My next tip is to figure out your uniform. Everyone has a combination of clothes that they wear on a daily basis or more often than not. For me, that's a turtleneck and jeans. For my uncle, that's a button-up with pants, usually monochrome, so navy on navy or black on black. Whatever it is, figure out your personal uniform and build off of that. Once you figure out your uniform, that's like the first step in defining your personal style because that is the thing that you are known for. My next tip is to buy less and choose well. Anytime you are shopping for clothes, don't settle. You want to pick clothes that work for you, that last a long time, and that will take you 
through life. I think this is really hard, especially when we live in this time where instant gratification is hard to combat with, you know, two day free shipping. If you see something on Instagram, you can buy it and it shows up at your house in just a few days. But my biggest piece of advice is to let something sit in your cart before you click complete order or enter your credit card information because if you let something sit odds are you're probably gonna forget about it or realize a couple days later that you actually don't need or want that item and if you buy less but choose well then you'll have a better wardrobe that works for you another piece of advice is to go thrifting or online secondhand shopping because it delays instant gratification. You have to be patient and sort through a lot of clothes until you finally find the piece that you've been looking for. It's a very rewarding experience. It saves you money, it's fun, it extends the life of a garment, and it's better for the environment. Back in the day, the average women owned a lot less clothes than the average women of today. And I myself fall into this category. When I started my minimalism, style journey some time ago i was still holding on to things i had since middle school which is not always a bad thing because you want to be resourceful and not toss things just for the sake of getting rid of them but we can learn a thing or two from these vintage women my next tip is to be patient you and your style are going to evolve over time. Nobody stays static for their entire life. If you are chasing for perfection, then you are going to be running forever. Unless you have thousands of dollars to pour into restarting your wardrobe entirely, it's going to take a long time. And I don't recommend doing that anyway because it's wasteful and you already have things in your closet. Shop your closet first. Even though my style has come a long way, I feel like my style changes from, you know, one month to the next. So just be patient with yourself and explore your different options, but realize that it's gonna take some time and you probably will never be satisfied or like you are complete with your personal style because you will never be a complete person, a completely finished product. The next thing you wanna do is be practical. What kind of clothes are you required to wear on a daily basis? For me, I work in a higher education setting from home, so I still have to look business casual from the top up. So my style has evolved to more like business casual, but I still have the occasional crop top and not so professional clothing, but sometimes I still make it work wearing a cardigan over the crop top or, you know, no one needs to see from the bottom down. If there's anything you get out of this video, it's you want to make sure your clothes work for you and you don't work for your clothes. Is it comfortable? Are you able to move around or do the things that are required of you on a daily basis? If you cook a lot, then you probably don't want a wardrobe that's entirely white or off-white colors. I always ask myself, is this sitting right on my body? Because sometimes things are either too tight or too loose and it just looks awkward. The next thing you want to do is find inspiration. Whether you use Pinterest or Instagram, but I personally like Instagram, you over time will collect an archive of outfits that you really like. So every time I see something I like, whether it's an outfit or a space in a room, home decor ideas, or sometimes even if I just like what people have to say in their caption, I will click that little bookmark button and save it in my archives. Once you develop a healthy number of pictures, you will realize there is probably a pattern to the things that you like, whether it's certain colors, certain styles, patterns, or cuts. This can help you understand your personal style, and not just when it comes to clothing, right? But also your home, your general visual representation. And my last tip and probably most important tip is to dress for you. There's so many videos out there that give advice about dressing for your body type. You know, are you an apple? Are you a pear? Are you a freaking rectangle? And while some of these videos can be helpful for some people, they usually come from a place of trying to fix something about yourself in order to look more appealing. So if you see something that you like on somebody else, just try it. Don't automatically assume that it's not gonna look good on you because you never know. Try it, don't knock it till you rock it. 
And the most important thing is whether or not you like it, whether or not you feel confident and comfortable in it. If it doesn't look proportional or whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you feel proportional. Okay, I think that's everything. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. See you next time.